uh, how to tell you about the checkpoint in this course because you have to understand the mechanism between the memory so the buffer pool and the disk where your data is stored we will show wh what the checkpoint does which is an internal mechanism in the SQL engine that is completely transparent. I will explain you by a small schema the role of the checkpoint. We will first of all make an insertion. An insertion is sent to the SQL server. So in the first instance it's changed to memory okay the, mod the modification sorry is made is made in memory buffer pool and will stay as long as there a sufficient space and we put in the cache the most used data always remember that the memory is on average 1000 times faster than the than the disk so you can see the interest of the buffer pool on the sql engine and right on in memory if the page is modified it's right on in the hard disk okay on the other side in fact there are two actions at the same time it also right in the log so the checkpoint that we're talking about is done and the page is in the page that is going to be right turn will be right turn in the hard disk okay so the modification is right turn in the log file and the checkpoint is going to take the log do its job to write in the disk okay what you should know is that the data is, al is always somewhere on the disk in the beginning in the log file then in the disk and in the memory the buffer pool in order to be able to work with so we will use the memory the buffer pool so the, that the data is pulled up as quickly as possible the checkpoint will see the, what there is in the memory and also at the level of log so it will do a double roll and it will write them in the disk file okay what's happen when the data is updated we send the request it will go to the memory and update is sent to the SQL server. It will go to the memory. It will see that the modification a page is written in the disk and pulled up into the memory. So it will be read in the disk and pulled up into the memory and hence it's pulled up, it's marked as modify. Okay. And it no longer matches with the one that was that was in the disk. So it will that is dirty. So it has to be modified in the disk. It's the checkpoint that will do that. The checkpoint will therefore take the dirty page and enter them in the disk. Okay, so let's go to the demonstration. You should know that we can change the checkpoint in the configuration of the SQL server. So I do the SP configure, show advanced option one, so it will activate the advanced menu of the SP configure. The SQL server configuration here has selected recovery interval so let's do the select and make a zoom so the run value default it's zero okay zero means that the checkpoint will run 
by default every 60 seconds and not minute. Okay. I strongly advise you to leave it to leave it. Uh, it's because um, there are people who change who want to put checkpoint every 10 seconds on 20 seconds or uh, one minute and so on and according to what I saw in internet there are people who change the checkpoint to have a better performance for me I, I uh, advise against that because they can need to bottleneck on disk on log and etc i personally always uh, always left it at 16 seconds I've, i've never had performance problems concerning the checkpoint but there are maybe some cases in which we must change it that's uh, that's my how point of view okay so i will create a table a simple one just it's already exist but it's not it's not very important we will verify if the page was modified in the disk we can see in the colon is modified check the page that have been modified in buffer pool the data cache data cache sorry of sql by the dmv which is here ccdm always buffer descriptor don't forget the database backup demo and we can see we are page in the first scriptor. we are going to empty this because it's not really important for the moment and check again <coughs> nothing nothing for currently nothing in the DMV the cache data cache of SQL the buffer pool and into the log there is nothing also nothing okay so insert one row i insert just one row in the table and if we check in the fndb log function we have <coughs> we go to the bottom and we see that here and we see that here we have the insert okay the insert in the log okay it validated that what it writes in its log file sorry check if data page has been modified let's get a look on the dmv sys dm os buffer description So we can see if we zoom that the data page has been modified okay just here in the into the column is modified just here okay let's launch a checkpoint manually and if i check again on the, the buffer buffer pool the cache the data page that is modified is has disappeared okay in fact the data that was taken in the buffer pool was copied on disk the checkpoint did it we did it manually but for it for it it's done automatically at the level of the sql server engine okay so the page modify was entered into the disk and if the log we have nothing ever Here. okay so it took the modified file in the log and entered them in the disk okay so how do things works at the level of the update at the, at the level of the update we do an update just a classic update Okay, it's done. And check if data page has been modified on disk. Okay, you can see here 
is modified again on the colon is modify data page okay so we have six pages that were pulled up into the memory okay six page six four six page and into the log if we check on the bottom we have the it's not an insert, it's the, it's a modifier row. So it's a pretty interesting thing. Okay, it's not insert, it's a modifier row for a node. If, if we do a checkpoint, check again into the DM view, this DM OS buffer descriptor, we have nothing, and into the file, nothing, also nothing so if you look at uh, that sorry if we look at the sql data cache of the buffer pool at the level of the memory and there is nothing and also at the level of the level of the logs okay so it was a small demonstration about the checkpoint and its internal mechanism which is run automatically every 60 seconds. Don't forget it. Okay, so let's go for the next demo session.